Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss number patterns. When you are given a pattern, many times you are asked to determine the equation and from there they give you other questions like how many terms are there, how many terms are equal to a certain value. But in order to answer all these questions, you have to first know how to get the equation. Now when we're getting the equation, the first thing we need to do is get the common difference. Now the common difference in this equation would be 3 minus 1, which is 2. And then to double check, you say 5 minus 3, which is 2. So step 1 is to get the common difference. Now how you get the common difference is you would say term 2 minus term 1. You could say any high value minus the one lower than it. In this case, we did term 2 minus term 1, which gave us 3 minus 1 equals to 2. We could have done 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now, many a times, pupils make a mistake and they minus term 1 minus term 2, giving us minus 2. So you must be careful with your signs. Once you get the common difference, the formula that you use is Tn is equal to An plus B. Now A is what you had calculated at the step. So for now we have Tn is equal to 2n. How do we solve for B? If you were counting in multiples of A. So if I was counting in multiples of A, so in this case A is 2, so I'm counting in multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now what I'm trying to do is, what is the difference between the multiple and the number pattern. Underneath, I'm going to write the number pattern. 1, 3, 5, 7. Now what we're looking for is what is the difference between the multiples and the number patterns. What is the difference between the multiple and the number patterns. So to move from 2 to 1, what do I have to do? To move from 4 to 3, what do I have to do? You would notice that I would have to subtract 1. So my formula becomes Tn is equal to 2n minus 1. Now let us check this. In our previous video we discussed that this is T1, meaning n is equal to 1. So if I had to substitute n as 1, I should get the answer 1, which is exactly what the number pattern states. Now let us try another one, working with a negative. Okay, if I am given the following number pattern, 10 7, 4, 1. Now the first step is we're going to check what is the common difference. Remember we are working with 7 minus 10 and not 10 minus 7, which is equal to minus 3. So we know now that we are going to have Tn is equal to minus 3n plus b. The minus 3 is our common difference. Now we're going to write it in multiples of minus 3. Minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12. Then we're going to write the number pattern under 10, 7, 4. What we are looking for is what is the difference 
between the multiple and the number pattern. So how did I move from minus 3 to 10? To get from minus 3 to 10, I would have to add 13. I would have to add 13. To get from minus 6 to 7, I would have to add 13. So our final answer is Tn is equal to minus 3n plus 13. Now let us see if the answer works. Let us substitute n as 4. Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12 plus 13 will give me 1. So term 4 is equal to 1. And if we look term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4 is equal to 1. Thank you for watching.